I'm now ready for my personal appearance. Yay! As you can see, I've got my Barbie outfit on. Yes, ready to go. Come with me. of the rainforests and a Barbie world is Noah's Ark. Fantastic. I'll, I'll meanwhile connect with Richard. Sure. Yeah. Hi everybody, so I'm here at this exhibition uh, supporting Richard, Prince Lucas and um, Noah's Ark. So this is a book and we're in a gallery of illustrations for book covers and this here is about Noah's Ark in South Africa. Um, so the books you are Noah, and the whole Noah's Ark project is what I'm here to support today with Richard, and this is George. But I'm the publisher of the books, that's why I'm here. Um, and I'm very pleased to meet Rachel. It's fantastic, it's a lovely opportunity. Thank you for having me, and George has introduced me to the in-depth um, vocabulary of what it is to, to explain and understand what Noah's Ark is all about in South Africa and the book and this illustration where you've got the elephant looking into the lake and the reflection of the lake is how damaged the planet is and then behind the elephant is the vision of Noah's Ark to show how perfect the world could be where humans and animals live in harmony together. So we are one, you are Noah and it's as simple as that. So Noah's Ark is one of the world's, if not the world's, largest conservation project um, to save the planet, to save the animals, and it's just an incredible uh, privilege for me to be here today to support this book. So I hope you go and buy it. Thank you, thank you, Rachel. It's, it's going to be the safest conservation project. Yeah. And eventually we'll be the biggest, but it certainly will save us. It's going to be Jurassic Springs. Okay. And uh, it's a question of getting it started. But the little um, pilot for it is already there. Yeah. And uh, so people can start visiting that. We're just upgrading it a bit. Yes. Yes. Going. So there are the existing animal sanctuaries in South Africa. And as Noah's Ark project grows, it will incorporate. Um, the whole vision of what this means and how we can save the planet, how humans can be one united race and live in harmony with the animals before it's too late. Because we've already seen climate change and the destruction and the whole ecosystem and the animal kingdom, the poaching and how the damage is already, some people say, irreparable. But obviously Noah's Ark is here to turn that around and hope that we don't run out of time. Absolutely. So if you go to the website noahsark.life you can read more about global conservation in the heart of Africa and in a nutshell Noah's Ark is global conservation in the heart of Africa and it says be part of the largest and technologically advanced ecological and conservation park in history. You can watch videos and there's a Sky TV channel all about Noah's Ark and it's basically a state-of-the-art animal and ecological conservation park covering 100 square kilometres on the northeast coast of KwaZulu Natal in South Africa. And it has been described as the largest and most ambitious conservation project in history. Conservation started around about August 2020. The £5 billion development is supported by the local government and the local people. And... If you read on the website, it says, Why Noah's Ark? The animal kingdom is at a crisis point. 
climate change, overdevelopment, farming, ocean plastic and big game hunting and poaching are driving thousands of species off the face of the earth. If humanity continues at the above trend, the natural world will be gone in 20 years and the human race will be left fighting the horrific consequences of climate change to survive. And investors and philanthropists are invited to acquire shares in the project and the website also has got links for that too. So if you ask the question, how can I help? All South African businesses are invited to submit for the Noah's Ark Supply Program and Noah's Ark intends to work with all its local suppliers, supporting them in exporting their products around the world. It's such a wonderful website, noahsark.life and you can support by signing a petition on the website. Pledge your support please, download and stream the singles It Takes the World to Make a Miracle and It's Just a Memory, now available on all platforms. And you can also purchase a product or merchandise from Noah's Gift Shop. So you can get involved by checking out the website noahsark.life. If you read the bit on Get Involved, it says the Noah's Ark project is to invest £500 million into selected communities associated with animal poaching. The money will be used to invest in business creating jobs, developing public services and infrastructure such as hospitals, schools, roads, sanitation facilities, energy solutions and building new social homes, improving living conditions. And you can leave your details to get involved. Ask the question what meaningful measures and solutions are available for counteracting climate change. Noah's Ark, the website, says this. Everyone can make a contribution to climate protection. We must take responsibility for our own ecological footprints, i.e. for our own CO2 emissions. The most common everyday causes of harmful emissions are travel with cars, aeroplanes, heating and electricity usage and our consumption behaviour. What the experts say, WWF reported in 2018 humans have wiped out 60% of the Earth's animals since 1970. If humanity continues with overdevelopment, poaching, polluting the oceans and affecting climate change, the natural world will be completely gone in 20 years. So guys, thanks for listening to my video. I will be doing more videos about Noah's Ark in the near future. In the meantime, on a more fun and flirty note, I hope you like my Barbie outfit and my hair piece and my makeup. I did it more modern Barbie vibe for 2022. So guys, I hope you have a great day, week, month, year, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.